Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we are going to do another little quick series, and I hope you guys don't get too bored with this, but it's going to be a uh, sorting list of lists, but this is actually going to test, this is an algorithm that's going to test the 25 uh, horse race interview that I've seen floating around on YouTube. So, okay. Um, I didn't really grasp the concept and then also I wanted to make sure that it was accurate so alright here's the premise what it is is you have 25 horses and they are mixed and you want to find the fastest three so alright so I wrote an algorithm that is going to test this and what the premise is is you have and you can only race five horses at a time so you have you break them up into five groups so actually last video we did this and uh, then I decided to go ahead and do this one so okay here's the idea the fastest three should always live right here so you break them up you sort them this way you have the five horses then you rate then you sort them this way then you remove 25 and if then you if you if you have this as a triangle, if you look at this, you group them here, you have that one, then you have these two, then you have the base of three. So you have one, two, and then three more. So if we grab and we, and we draw a diagonal line right through here, these should always be the top three horses in this little triangular area. So as we see right here, this works. But let's build an algorithm that can test this every single time. So all right, that's the idea. So now to do this, we're going to use random. And I, the actual one that we're really gonna use is that I'm most interested in is shuffle. And what shuffle does is it takes a list and it mixes it up and literally like a deck gets shuffled so let's let's just take a second and look and see what shuffle does all right well let's just remind you we did one on random but all right the ones that we've stuck to with was were random and randent. So shuffle right here. So help random dot shuffle. It's okay. Takes it an argument. Uh, shuffle list in place return none. So this is important. Let's go over what this means. It's not going to create anything new. I'll say this again. Return. That's another, it's going to not create, create. Not going to create anything new, shuffles in place. So you do not have to assign this to a new variable. This is just going to do it. So let's, let's look and see what we want to do. So we imported random, then we have 25 numbers. So let's just create a list of 25. And we're going to do um, range, and we want 1 through 25. And then, there, there we go. Now I want to shuffle this. Well, let's actually go ahead and create our, our end result. Because this, this is what we're going to pull from place. Then I want to, so this is where we're going to pull these from. This is where we're going to put it. And um, then I want to show you, this is going to be like our last, last little bit to test our if 23, 24, and 25 always end up in there. So now we need to create something that's going to hold our lists of lists. So let's do list comprehension. And 
and we want five of these. So the way to look at this is I want this done five times and I want a empty list created. So all right, let's take a second and look and see what we've done so far. So all right, 25, there's our list. Then we have our X, which is gonna grab our last our last ones to see if it's truly, truly, truly slices. And these are always ha contain 24 and 23. And this one is where we're gonna shuffle one, two, three, four, five. So that contains our five races or our five lists. Now, now let's shuffle this. So right here, here is our one through 25. So now let's shuffle our list. So this is how we call, since shuffle lives in random, shuffle, and we're gonna put in our argument of 25, excuse me, x underscore 25. Run this again, and let's call So now if you look really, really close, our list is now shuffled and it did this in place. So I think this is a good stopping point right here. And we will pick up on this next time. So please don't forget to click that like and subscribe button and most important that notification bell but i think uh, i know we're going to need to break this up in a uh, couple parts but thanks for watching stay tuned for next time please leave any comments questions below and or vid any video requests and we'll see you next time bye guys